social enterprise is actually going to provide transparency. It's a really useful vehicle to get messages like ours out there. It's really important that people are still encouraged to kind of go off and kind of set up businesses. What we're trying to achieve is to move the goalposts for women. It's something that enables activities to happen in the community which has some social benefit. It's a business that makes money but it's got a heart and it's got an eye on, on the community that it's based in. I'm helping out the Year 11 try to build on their ideas for the business and give them some ideas from what I've learned. Point Your Opa is like one of the main people who've helped us get this money, like Simon and Ryan. It's so nice, I had to name it twice. I call it Reggae Reggae. Hey, this is Tony Jackson here representing for the Shop Shots team, and this is Enterprise Week 2008, and by far this is the biggest one yet. We have been travelling all across the Southwest attending events for the Enterprise Week. I have met men and women, young and old, and all of them are prime examples of innovation and enterprise. And commandment number one in marketing, Levi Rose 10 commandment, is to know your market. Yeah, know what you're doing, investigate that. Number two is to do a SWAT assessment. SWAT, your strengths, your weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Yeah, my name is John Fitzpatrick. Hey, I'm Kath Tatlock. Hello, I'm Gaynor Coley. Fleur, Fleur Young. Number three. It's about branding. It's the name that you're going to use, your brand. Number four is attached to number one action. I'm trying to say that you're going to try and concentrate on a niche market. Because I teach business, I also kind of want to feel what it is like to run a business. So a few years ago, I had the idea I wanted to kind of run events that kind of encourage people to get into business. Not necessarily to be millionaires, but just to kind of Ron thinking, well, what can I do? Maybe I've not got any GCSEs, maybe I've not got any A-levels. So by listening to people like David and listening to Levi Roots, um, people like that can really inspire you to kind of think, yeah, actually, I can go ahead. I, I don't need necessarily to have a traditional academic background. And I can, you know, I can do anything, I can achieve anything. If you're in charge of your own destiny, if you can shape that, then the fact that maybe when you were sitting in a school or a college environment, you didn't tick a box becomes less important. Your ability to be able to talk to somebody, your ability to be able to sell something, your ability to find some quick tactics of dealing with a situation, they often aren't the things that get you a certificate, but they really can be important in terms of running business and running social business. Number five is to increase sales to existing customers. Number six is to always set yourself challenges. <laughs> yeah, there's a social enterprise photography competition. Um, and in that competition, it was open both on a regional basis and on a national basis in order to try and promote social enterprise and some of the people that work within it who really believe that social enterprise is one of the answers for the future. Um, and I thought it was really important to help promote that and, and I'd be really excited, the prize is a day with me, and I'd be really excited, particularly for someone who is starting off a social enterprise, to say these are the sort of skills that you can have and employ, but also this, these are the sort of opportunities that we as a social enterprise organisation can really make a difference. Ideas for things that, that, that you can do for social enterprise. How important is Enterprise Week to Business Network? Uh, very important. I have to say I've been involved in it in the last three, four years and every year it's building momentum and it's getting the message out there and what's really great about our network is that we have women that are going into colleges to aspire other women 
and the feedback has been fabulous. So, and particularly for Women's Enterprise Day, uh, uh, as part of it, is a great way to celebrate the success of the businesswoman out there. Hello, I'm Celia Duncan and I'm an artist. I'm here promoting and, and saying what a good idea it is. Um, this isn't just paying lip service, this is the real thing. And the um, Business Support Network is a great organisation, as is the RDA, for supporting it. So, yes, great. Okay. Number seven is to get referrals. Number eight, which is perhaps most controversial of all, is about finance. Guys, boost the coffers, more money in your business. I was walking through the village one night and I just was at a point when I was looking for a job thinking I will never get a job again ever who's going to employ me and I saw a poster on a village notice board and the job was for an international projects officer and then I thought okay I think I can do that I applied and the rest as they say is history. Um, for this community I think it's very important because it spent years as the forgotten corner of, not just of Cornwall but of the UK really and a lot of people here aren't really aware of the benefits of being part of Europe and we're actually deliv sort of delivering those benefits on a day-to-day -day basis in a real way that people in this small community can feel. This social en enterprise project has actually brought in so many people from the local community to the different strands of our work um, it's incredibly important. We're all mountain boarders. This is our mountain board uh, track that's took us like about half a year to make. Point Europa is like one of the main people who've helped us get this money. Before we were like going off bits of wood like this high and just like jumping and falling out and then when we saw someone good doing it you just learn so fast. You learn, you learn by looking kind of Yeah, the best like, experience is being with someone experienced. We've got our own little group called like Mole Train. It's like Mole Train Mountain Boarding. Number nine is to avoid complacency. And number ten, most of all importantly, is about focusing. Yeah. Because after you've been through all the top ten, number nine, down to number nine, if you can't focus on, on, on the situation ahead, then you're going to fail at your first hurdle. You've got to be able to focus. My name is um, Wendy Matthews and I'm the Head of People and Employment at the South West Regional Development Agency um, and that really means um, why I'm here today, it's all about helping people start businesses, it's about helping people who might be made redundant to get training and support, it's about helping people who do become unemployed to get back into the labour market and particularly in terms of Enterprise Week it's also about young people and those who will be coming into the job market over the next couple of years because um, it can be quite a tough time. From the Southwest RDA's view, has the Enterprise Week gone well this year? Enterprise Week has gone very well this year and we're really pleased. Uh, I think there's been a really good vibe. Um, we've had um, nearly 100 more events, I think, than we had last year, which has been brilliant. Um, the um, work particularly here in Bristol with the Bristol Partnership has been excellent. Lots of people coming together um, to make it work really well. I believe with the current economic climate, Enterprise Week is the way of the future. And for working on this event, I know that the enterprising spirits in the Southwest are very, very strong. From Bristol to Land's End, let's munch that credit crunch, munch that credit crunch, munch that credit crunch.